Ooh, you want to talk about a bad movie? Um, we and I know you you probably won't see it because you're not a big um like violence like gore person for movies. Yeah. But I, think I, I watched the about. new uh, I watched the new Texas Chainsaw yep. movie yeah. on Netflix. Holy shit! <laughs> I would pay to not watch that movie. <laughs> Fuck oh my god. Me. It was terrible, dude. It how was you, so bad. How do you guys even like sit through movies like that? I just I don't fucking get it. How do you keep your eyes uh, because peeled it was for those? Eight minutes long. Wait. <laughs> it's, it's very short. Okay. What do you mean on violent movies or bad movies? Cuz no. they're both painful. <laughs> no, mostly violent movies like I I don't know. I just can't fucking do it, you know. Disassociation. You don't like. Uh, it I just guess, it just yeah. happens, and there's usually not usually. Uh, hey. You get like different oh, things out of it. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, my seen? dog just ran in my room. And now that <laughs> now the dog's gonna be rubbing against the microphone. <laughs> but that's gonna be a yeah. whole different sound. Suck my shirt. Hey, this cat <laughs> has a squirrel. That's illegal. Get the fuck out of here, Tony. Yeah, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of one before. Here comes a big boy. Let's fight. I know Totodile. Uh, yeah, so I heard Texas Chainsaw Massacre was just embarrassingly bad, yeah. Dude, it was fucking atrocious. There was like four sets in the whole movie. There was, uh, there was a street, there was a mechanic shop that was on the street yeah there was a house that was on the street and there was a field and those were the sets the entire time Man. that sounds like but texas the chainsaw movie is essentially influencer gen z kids from austin texas come to whatever the fucking town is where texas chainsaw massacre takes place like hope or some shit yeah they they come there to an abandoned town to try and pitch to each other why they should all move out here and buy property here to make this the next Austin, Texas. And then Leatherface's mother, I'm gonna spoil the whole shit. Leatherface's <laughs> mother has a heart attack and somehow he feels that that's their fault and he tries to kill them. What the The fuck? movie. It's, it's fucking terrible. And like, not even any of the like, and I'll be vague about stuff, but, like, not even any of the violence in the movie is even that cool. Like, there's not even, like, a couple things where you're like, whoa, like, <clears throat> like a Saw movie where they're like, oh, that was a creative way to kill somebody. Nothing right. like that. Like, over the top or and, something memorable or, yeah. Yeah. There's, like, two scenes where I'm like, oh, that's interesting, I guess. But that's it. Yeah, um, man. There's parts where people are getting, like killed in groups of people and everybody else in the group is not reacting they're just being silent just kind of like not yelling not running away not even like stunned in like you know like shocked that they can't say anything they're just kind of banging on a window very casually like oh no please <laughs> and just one by one just getting taken care of hey hey guys cut it out <laughs> cut it out and then shibby says nobody cares about spoilers for that crappy movie <laughs> What I mean by being vague is I know uh, Ween does not have uh, the the best oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, reception yeah. to like, to gore, so I, I won't yeah. say like you know how graphic stuff was. Yeah. But as far as spoilers go, yeah, I and mean, there's nothing to spoil in the movie. They get to a town, the dude has a chainsaw and he kills some people, and only <laughs> one of them leaves the town. Holy shit! You want to know why one of them leaves the <laughs> town? Because it's dude, she survived a school shooting. Whoa. Like, what Whoa. the fuck? What? I didn't expect yeah. that. <laughs> yes. So the one person who's like the young person in the group of all this group of young people who like the only reason that she essentially gets out of it is because she's been there before and she's had trauma and she knows how to deal with that. But she doesn't do anything. There's even That's a point where hilarious. they make it a point to say like, there's flashbacks of her like on the ground while a school shooting is going on. And there's a point in the movie where she gets an AR-15 and can shoot Leatherface, but she can't fucking do it because th she leaves the safety on the gun and doesn't know how to use it. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's so fucking bad, dude. It's so bad. I and the worst part about it is it's it's 80 <laughs> minutes long, but it feels like 180 minutes. It takes forever. Nothing happens. Damn. I thought you were going to say she uh, 
harness the power of school shooting to defeat no! <laughs> Leatherface or something. But no, she <laughs> she like, man. What the fuck? No, she let it fuck her up again. <laughs> and like, school shooting's a terrible and everything. And I'm not saying I like you know that that it's a good thing because it's definitely not. But like. I mean, they tell you, you know, for, for all sorts of active shooter preparation, they tell you, run, hide, fight. She never tries to run, she never tries to hide, and when she fights, she fucks it up. Like, she, <laughs> she's just the worst person. God damn. It's fucking terrible, dude. It's so It's bad. so funny that everyone's actually having this reaction to this movie. Right? Like, it's like, really, like, people are tearing it apart. Yeah, it's... Man, mm. it's really, Ooh, really tight. bad. See, uh, here's here's my uh, ignorance when it comes to Pokemon. Yeah, I rarely ever put like support moves because, especially with the new games, where you can just brute force your way through <laughs> the everything. Same way. Well, here's yeah. the thing: Protect would be great on another Pokemon that could use like a life sucking move. Not so much for Totodile. I would rather keep Withdraw, which raises yeah. my defense, that and then I can continue like fighting. Me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think I'm just gonna, and then Rapid Spin can get me out of Leech Seed, which is good. So I, I'm not, oh shit, I picked the wrong uh, name, but I'm not gonna learn. Yeah, that's fine. That you. makes sense. But yeah, yeah with, when it comes to Nuzlocke, you definitely want to think about support moves, Exactly. I guess. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's yeah, it's just... a different mindset. I, I totally feel you on that, where like, I'll be like, okay, I'll have one Pokemon that's like all status effects, and then I'll have the other Pokemon just be like all offensive moves, you know? Yeah. You won't really have something like a, a protect normally. Well, the the games are so easy nowadays that like you can just brute force it and you don't have to use any stat moves. Yeah. And then like the older games yeah. I feel like are is filled with too much bullshit where it's like I can set up like a status move that like paralyzes them and then like the next turn they use like a, a fuller store every time. Yeah. And then some reason yeah. still get a hit in there and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> And then like, <laughs> how the fuck? No, like, you're cheating, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> and then you you don't even really like think about getting items like full heals or like you know antidotes or paralyzed heals or anything like that because your Pokemon will heal itself with love. Love. But when you go back and play this game, like, this girl pulls out all five pieces of Exodia, and you're yeah. like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it can just be some random fucking trainer on the field, and you'll never see it coming. What the fuck? <laughs> he has all five pieces of Exodia, but they take they they come together and they form a Totodile. <laughs> <laughs> this makes any sense. And then she just hands him over to me, and I kick her ass. <laughs> and then, and then someone comes by, picks up all the pieces in their arms, and then throws them in the river. It, like what we yeah. like Weevil? Weevil. Weevil. I get it. I call yeah. him Weevil. 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 Like the Pokemon. Weevil. <laughs> Weevil Underwood. <laughs> no, it's Weevil Underwood. Underwood. There's Underwood. A Undo. <laughs> what the fuck is he sending out? Whatever. I'll just say his now. I didn't pay attention. Oh, it's Eradicate. Okay, I guess this is a good move. Ah, we're fine. <laughs> yeah. Don't hyperfang me, bro. Whatever. Yeah, we're we're high enough level. We're good. We're high. Kind of looks like your cat. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Don't call this Pokemon fat. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's all no. Bone. It's tail. That's it. The tail. Yeah. Uh, Shubi says, you know what's a good horror movie? The Hills Have Eyes. I have not seen The Hills Have Eyes in a long time, and I remember liking it back in the day. I wonder if it still holds up. The remake. <laughs> We're doing this again? No, no, no I'm, oh, okay. I'm legitimately asking this time. <laughs> okay. Because there's the Wes Craven back in the 70s, and then there was, like, a popular one in the 2000s. Oh, no, I mean the one from, like, the early 2000s, yeah, like 2004, yeah. maybe. That's why a lot of more people, which is, like, yeah, it was it was pretty good. It was it was solid. Hmm. It was it was in the era of, like, where every so often they would pump out, like, a halfway decent remake. Gotcha. Yeah, it should yeah. be said it's a remake. But... Yeah, yeah, it's pretty solid. Okay. Yeah, okay. But well, there's something about those 70s horror films that, like, the grittiness and, like, they are fucking yeah. ruthless. You know how they always say that, like, the remakes are gorier and they, like, over-the-top violence? Mm -hmm. Um, that is, yeah. like, the exact opposite almost with, uh, Last House on the Left. 
You ever see the yeah. original yes, and or remake? Of... <laughs> yeah, man. That's a fucking wild movie. Yeah, the remake hits hard, dude. Yeah. Oh, Child's Play. Child's Play is a movie that my brother used to uh, chase me around the house when we were kids trying to show me the box art for it, no. and it would scare me. <laughs> and I would just like, oh, no. yeah, I would be really fucking scared. So like, even even to this day, I, I still get like a little bit like uh, nervous looking at the box for yeah, a Yeah, that's fucked. That... Uh, yeah. Decapitating like, the he... uh, Jack in the Box? Uh, I don't know. He, um, he once chased me around a blockbuster <laughs> <laughs> running around oh, with the no. fucking cover of Child's Play. It was really scary, and I was like 11. Oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, my grandmother was super big into horror movies, and she loved Child's Play, and I remember going to her house. I used to walk over to her apartment, and um, I would like go over and get like cookies after school and hang out and watch like Jeopardy or some shit with her just to spend some time with her and mostly to get free cookies <laughs> but I remember I walked over one day and she was watching Child's Play and I sat there terrified watching it and she was like no no watch it's funny it's adorable Aww, and no. I was horrified watching the whole thing and I went home and told my mom and she was like what the hell are you doing to my son like <laughs> <laughs> She was like, oh, he needs to grow up. He's fine. You're babying him. And I'm just over here watching fucking people get murdered by a oh doll God, at dude. the age of, like, seven. That's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> like, let's be real. Like, that movie's a pale comparison to some of the things you watch now. All right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's probably funnier yeah. now compared to, yeah, exactly, like, what we have now. Because um, there's certain movies that you and I talk about that we can't talk about on stream that you're like, yeah, no, it's great, you should watch it. And I'm like, eh. <laughs> I've shown it to people several times, I know exactly what you're talking about. And whenever you want to see it, my friend, I will gladly watch it with you. I haven't seen it in a long time. It's, it's probably been, like, uh, ooh, it's probably been, like, five or six years. That's good. Maybe longer. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Maybe I'll build up like a, you know, a, a, a bit of an immune system, and all of a sudden I'll go back in. I'll be like, oh no, this this really is fucked up. I haven't seen it in so long. Oh, it took you five years to realize it's fucked up. Listen, sometimes you watch it, you know, you you watch something or you experience something, and it changes you as a person, and then you you experience it, you know, ten or twelve times after that, and you just kind of become numb to it. We're talking about the Star Wars Holiday Special. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get this item here, and then I'm gonna go into Diglett Cave. And you gonna get a Diglett? I'm gonna get a Diglett, and then I'm, I'm also going to uh, probably try to catch a Pokemon out in this field, too. That would be awesome. Uh, Shibby says, I used uh, to walk home from school when I was young. I would go to my grandma's house and play NES with her and watch Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. That oh, sounds that's like great. a really wholesome time. What a great memory! That's way better than my grandmother. <laughs> 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 movies. <laughs> also, yeah, Children of the Corn. I remember being super scared of Children of the Corn when I was younger. Oh shit! That's a penis. Look at him. He's like, hey. dude. If we get this Pokemon, it's gonna be the first male Pokemon on our team. But first, I'm gonna switch over to Totodile. Be ready with a name, Shibby. I said the next one we catch, you can go right ahead and name it. Oh, thank God. Thank you. This is the only Pokemon I don't want castle naming. <laughs> thank you, Shibby. <laughs> I had a name all picked out, but yeah, it's we know. Shibby. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to tell us. <laughs> Wait, why are you digging? So good. Why are you Wait, digging? Why are you digging? <laughs> why did you say it like that? Wait, why are you digging? She's suspect. <laughs> What's the dog doing? Wait a minute. <laughs> How the? Why are you digging? Oh shit! Is oh, Rapid Spin gonna, gonna be forever? Oh no. Oh, oh my okay. god, okay. Hey, I thought I was gonna accidentally kill it. Oh, uh, you used RIP to play. To my grandma, we played yeah. Super Mario Brothers 3. Yes, Dude, rest in peace, your grandmother. Time. Super Mario Brothers 3 all the way, man. Yeah, that's great. It was a great game. Okay, I guess He's I'll digging just again. draw. <laughs> it looks like you leaned over to like pick up a penny off the ground. This guy should have dropped it. 
It's like, oh shit, Abe Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> is that my man, Abe Lincoln? <laughs> oh, is that honest Abe down there? What's up? <laughs> what I miss? Yay! Oh, we gotta need a name. All right, <laughs> all right, Shibby. First male Pokemon. You have the honors, my friend. Name our Diglett. It's all you. Do I want a nickname for the captured Diglett? Did you imagine yeah. if Shibby had the same name as I had? No. Well, <laughs> Shibby's gonna get banned if that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want that to happen. Big Diglett, like Big Dick. So we're gonna have a Big Dick B and a Big Diglett. Okay, I like it. I yeah. wanted to name a hot dog. <laughs> Big was, dick lit. That fits really well with what we're going with. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Should be great name. Solid <laughs> choice there. I appreciate it. Should I name it Big Dig Lit or Big Dick Lit? These are uh, executive decisions we're making here. <laughs> Everybody knows that's Big Dig Lit. <laughs> like big Dig. Well, I can only fit one of the T's, but what, how do we feel about this? Big Dig Lit. <laughs> that, that's straight to it. Dig Lit is, is uh, subtle, but. I, we can go I'll either way. I'll make it subtle. It's also so tiny, too. <laughs> big Dickle! <laughs> big so Dickle! <laughs> wait, yeah, wait. Big Dick Lit. <laughs> oh, Big Dick Lit. Yeah, like, D C K L I T. Like that? Okay, all right. I think I think we can agree. Absolutely. On that. Okay. Perfect that's, name. That's gonna be it. <laughs> well, it's better than Pope Cum. I mean, shit. Uh, Pope Scum. Pope Scum. Oh, it was Pope's Cum. Oh yeah, multiple yeah. popes. That's right. <laughs> yeah, multiple popes. It was a Pope convention. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about your body water. <laughs> Wait, Big Dickle is great. Aw, well, you know what? It's Big Dickle in, in our hearts. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's Big, big Dickle in our hearts. <laughs> Dude, this is fucking great, though. We, big dickle. <laughs> we have a ground-type Pokemon, and we're going to go against, like, Lieutenant Surge eventually, so hopefully we hang on to it until then. <laughs> hopefully. Oh, eventually. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a long way. Yeah.